Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at the magnetic field of Mercury. And surprisingly, yes, it does have a magnetic field. The strength is about 1% the strength of that of the Earth, which makes it fairly weak, but it's still there. And that alone is very surprising because we would not expect Mercury to have a magnetic field for two reasons. First of all, the planet is too small. We expect with a small planet like that, that the interior is solid and a solid interior does not give you a very good dynamo effect to create a magnetic field. Based upon the fact that there is a magnetic field, there must be interior liquid in the core, so the metal core is partially molten, partially liquid, creating this magnetic field. That's one big surprise. So there must be some interior heating that caused the interior of Mercury to still be liquidy rather than solid. Secondly, the planet rotates very, very slowly. A Mercury day, based upon its rotation, is 58 point, well, about 58.7 Earth days to make for, for Mercury to make one single rotation. And because of that, again, we don't expect a very strong dynamo effect, virtually no dynamo effect. Nevertheless, there is a magnetic field which has a significant strength. 1% the strength of the Earth, which has a fairly strong magnetic field, is still significant. So, take a look at that magnetic field, and when we uh, send the messenger spacecraft over there, because the magnetic field was already discovered with Mariner 10, we found out that the actual location of the source of magnetic field is not necessarily at the center of the planet, but about 500 kilometers, about 300 miles north of the center. That's very unusual in such a way that the strength of the magnetic field at the north side of the planet versus the south side of the planet is about three times stronger because you're so much closer to the origin of the magnetic field. So the source is right there. And so we have a much stronger magnetic field here than we have near the south side of the planet, which means that the solar wind particles have a much easier uh, time to penetrate the southern portion compared to the northern portion. So we see a much uh, more influx of solar wind particles near the south part of the planet as opposed to the north part of the planet. Another very interesting aspect of Mercury is that the solar wind particles, which are very fast moving charged particles, create a magnetic field of their own. And when the magnetic field of the solar wind interacts with the magnetic field of the planet, sometimes it will create kind of like a vortex kind of structure, like a tornado-like structure, which has magnetic field lines rotating around with forming these large tube-like structures that are as much as 500 kilometers in diameter, which allow solar wind particles to penetrate down to the surface. It kind of like opens up the magnetic field and causes the magnetic field particles to be able to then travel down the tube towards the surface. Those will spring up at various locations on the surface around the magnetosphere of the planet. And so they kind of move around, they, they come, they go, they're not constantly there, but they do appear there. So there's like this constant tornado-like structures being created because of the interaction between the magnetic field of the planet and the magnetic field of the solar wind. So this is a very unusual kind of situation. First of all, that there is a magnetic field when there shouldn't have been one. So we know that there's got to be some interior movement of liquidy kind of material in the core. And then the interaction with the solar wind creates these very strange vortex-like structures. That's what we know about the, the, um, the magnetic field of Mercury. Of course, again, to understand more and more of it, we'll have to continue to study the data that we got back from the messenger spacecraft. And we're also planning some additional travel towards the planet to try to understand it a little bit more. So that is the magnetic field of the planet Mercury.